Welcome back to part two of Prison Island. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, make sure you go click and watch that one. Uh, otherwise, here's part two. Enjoy. Part two, can I read it? Yep. Great! That's what it says. You've successfully executed uh -oh, the second stage of your escape plan. You're now inside the ventilation room on the third floor. Crawl through the ventilation system and find your way to the warden's boat. In this one, we use the ventilation diagrams, which are these ones, Catherine. Mm -hmm. uh, the manual, which is that one. And calendar, which that looks like a calendar to me. That's a very short year. Yep. Okay. So each of the four stories is serviced by a system of ventilation shafts to supply every room with fresh air. Each system is connected by vertical shafts running between each floor. A white square depicted on each of the ventilation diagrams indicates the access point from which you can move along the vertical shafts to descend to the ventilation system of the floor below it. Warning, do not walk across the ventilation grids. These are not built to support a person's weight. What do they look like? Oh, the little cubes? Yeah. These, these little bits, little cubies. So, little how do we know which floor is which? Uh, I guess we have to guess that. So should we draw on these? Because it's got that symbol saying that we can draw on them. I'm guessing we are meant to pick a, a route, right? Yeah, I just don't know which floor is which. But what did it say about the do not cr uh, walk across the grids? Don't go across the grids. Maybe it has to be... Like say, say this was floor zero, and that's floor one. You have to get up to that corner where floor one is, and then now you're in floor one, and then you have to get to. <gasps> Forty-five minutes. Uh, determine the order of the floor plans and arrange them from three to zero. Yep. But how do we know which? I knew, I knew we had to do that. So these are color coded. They're color coded on the edge. So you climb up. You, you climb, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> There's a boat and a hatch. Morning. Ventilation hatch open. That is this one. So that's level one. <gasps> or are they le is that that's level three? Yes, because that's where the fire is. So we need to find one. So the ventilation hatch is there. So there, that one, right? That's the hatch. No, no, the the white square. I thought. What's the black square? Yeah, but black square could be the hatch. I mean, it makes sense because look, it, it goes. It has a vent in that room, and it has a vent in that room. Okay, so this is, I'm, I'm confident, I feel pretty confident saying this one's three. Okay. So, we have to go blah, 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 to so there. We have to draw on it. We can't go over the grates. Can you go, we can go either way. I wonder if that matters, if you're making a shape that matters. Well, this one lines up pretty well with the grids being in rooms. Like, pretty, pretty well. By grids, do you mean like... The grids. The ventilation yeah, things you're not meant to walk on? Ventilation grids. Yeah. One minute till we get another clue. 41 minutes to go. Well, that looks like that. I'd say this is that because it needs all these grids for all those rooms. I don't know. Next clue. Determine which floor plan corresponds to each ventilation diagram. My room is on fire. On fire. Someone knocked out my son. That's blue. But that would have been level three. You're now inside the ventilation room on the third floor. Crawl through the ventilation system and find your way to the warden's boat. Which is down there. It said something about... Didn't it say something about under, the people underneath? Yeah. It did say that, right? The cell block located on the level... The cell block is located on the level directly below it. So this guy's room's on fire. So that would have to be level two. 
Right. Even though it doesn't look yeah, like there's so any fire here. this is level two. So if we're coming out roughly there, I'm guessing this is like a drop down slash climb up the white square. Like that's what it is, right? That's a, I think so. So that would bring us out, and it depends, sorry. Roughly there, right? I is still that don't. the boat? <laughs> that's the boat, that's water. That's water. So this is level one. Okay, so we're coming down. That doesn't look right, anyway. Coming out down here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, which means. I have no idea what this gets us though. No, me neither. Like, super easy, we could just do that. Which will get us out here. Nope. So, <laughs> does that mean we just... Do the keys have any of those shapes on them? What time are we meant to get another clue? Oh, it's at 30 minutes. We can do the extra hints. Yeah, give us an extra one for 40. The access hatch marked with a yellow square matches the black square in one of the ventilation diagrams. We already figured that out. That matches that. Ah. What did 45 say? Use the information you overheard from the guards. Cross-reference okay. this with what you know about the floors. So we've done that. Um, yep. The access hatch is the entrance to the ventilation shafts. What's this other one? <laughs> You knew that. The number of rooms on the floor plan needs to match the number of ventilation grids on the ventilation diagram. I didn't even think of that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I would say you want to start having guesses, but I have nothing to go off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to even guess. But it did say quickest, but I still don't know how changing the route is going to get us down there. Well, it's, sorry, is it going to get us any sort of um, number? I, and I don't understand um, the calendar. The only things I could think uh, is colour, but there's no colour that can help us. 27 minutes, just over 27 minutes. I mean, if we start guessing, it'll just take down... Um, numbers. Take down the minutes and then we can use the next clue. No, which one was two? That one. One was that one. Uh, no. Okay, 20 minutes to go. Check the, the clue. Every route through the ventilation shaft provides a key. How? <laughs> <laughs> That's the extra one. Draw the fastest route through the ventilation shafts to the ground floor. The shape laid out by each route corresponds to the bottom half of a particular key. Ah! Uh, so five is one. Okay. What? Because... Why is five... What, what, what does that one respond sorry, to? Sorry. Five is the number one position because it has a gap and then a fat bit. A gap and a fat bit. I'll take number three out, which is level one. No, level one, you would, number one does look the best, doesn't it? Yeah. No, this one. Maybe that's... Okay, yeah, it was number two. Okay, part three. Part three. Thanks for watching part two of Prison Island. Make sure you click through to part three so you can see the ultimate finale. Will we make it in time? We'll see you there.